What is up everybody and welcome back to my playthrough of Sonic Heroes. So, last time we finished up Team Sonic's story, so uh, let's see, we also were able to get another Chaos Hormone, so now we have 6 out of 7, we only need to get one more. And in terms of stories, <clears throat> we only have two more teams left. Team Dark and Team Chaotic. So today I am gonna do Team Dark. Team Dark stages are more difficult and recommended for the intermediate players. Yeah, so Team Dark is essentially the hard mode. Yeah, Team Dark is essentially the hard mode of this game. And yeah, if you saw my Team Sonic playthrough like as if the final levels weren't hard enough yeah when I get to this level with Team Dark it's gonna be even harder I'm counting on you guys hm. Affirmative. this must be it I found Eggman's secret treasure Now I know what this is all about. You're mad at Eggman for sealing you in this room. And you, you can't remember anything, can you? Then it's settled. Now you two make up so we can start looking for Eggman together. Oh yeah, baby, this makes us a team. All right. <clears throat> and so that is how Team Dark was formed, and now we kind of have their purpose, their, or their motives for going on this adventure. So we start off with Seaside Hill. You two ready? Warning! Immediate destruction if distracted. <laughs> Hope you can keep up with me. Yeah, so... Maybe wondering, Shadow's back. This is the first time we've seen him since uh, Team or after Sonic Adventure 2 when he sacrificed himself to save the Earth. I'm gonna be wondering, well, why is he back? Thought he was dead. Well, the <laughs> the short like real answer is that apparently, or is that Shadow was. Shadow, when he was created for Sonic Adventure 2, he was meant to be like a one-time character. That's why, like his, Let's change formation to sideways from here. that's why his his character arc was pretty much completed, like the same game that he was introduced. But Shadow ended up being such a popular character with the community that uh, that uh. Sega felt compelled to bring him back, and that's really the only reason why he's back, just because he was very popular. In fact, I think like a lot of polls often often show that Shadow is like the second most popular character in the franchise, of being right behind, of course, Sonic himself. But yeah, that's that's really okay. So that's really like the real reason why Shadow is back. Now, as to how he's back in game, um, well, we won't find out about that just yet. But we will find out about that in the soon, in the near future. Rude. 
Shield. You take care of the flying enemies. Attack them with Thunder Shield. Now as for now as for Omega, Omega was also or is a created. Oh my god, I'm, I can't even talk. Omega is a character that was created for this game. So just like the actually, I think he's he is like one of the only characters. Chaos Inferno. Press the Z button when the I think. I think. Uh. Omega is probably like one of the only characters in this game that was that made their de debut. Everyone else pretty much had turned on their Sonic game prior. There's only like one other character I can think of that was probably not new, but uh, more more on that character later. Anyways, yeah, Egg Omega was. See, the funny thing is, Omega was really only created to be a filler character because Team Dark didn't really have uh, a proper power character. Because, you know, Team Dark was essentially introduced in Sonic Adventure, and you had Shadow and Rouge, and then the third member. Oh, I think I just died. Oh my god. Yeah, I think. Yeah. So Shadow and Rouge, you know, made up two, the two thirds of uh, of Team Dark. And Eggman made up the the last part, but obviously since Eggman is like the main antagonist of this game, well, he couldn't really be the power character, kidding. Besides, he's not really a physical type of person, and you see like. All these characters here, they do a lot. So, can you just imagine Eggman like, trying to grind or like take out his own robots? It just really wouldn't really make sense. So that's why Omega was created to basically fill up the to basically fill up the role of the power character. But. And yeah, and then from that point on, he basically went on to be uh, uh, a main character or uh, a recurring character for the series. So with Omega, though, he is um, he is actually another E series robot. You know, the robots that we that Eggman created in Sonic Adventure that consisted of Gamma, Beta. Delta, Epsilon. So, but yeah, you remember, they, they all got destroyed at the end of Sonic Adventure. Uh, as... Let's see, as a... As the... Uh, what's his name? Gamma basically destroyed them all. And... And yeah, the, you gotta remember, the E-Series robots were meant to be like Eggman's best robots. So I guess seeing how he lost all the E series robots, he created Gamma to basically have another one, right? And um, <clears throat> yeah, so Omega is basically the final and ultimate EC robot, from what it, if, if I'm correct. He even, I mean, he even boasts that he's supposed to be the ultimate EC robot, and with the, his number is E123. Uh, you know, compared to the other ones where it was like E101, E102, so Omega is E123. And yeah, you could s if you actually look at him, you could see that he looks a lot like an E3 robot. He shares a lot of... Oh man. He shares a lot of similarities with them. But as you heard, he basically turned on against his creator because I guess he, I guess Omega is was insulted 
when Eggman left him to just basically guard Shadow, I guess, and, like, he felt insulted, because he, he's supposed to be, like, the best Eggman robot, and yet he only left him to, to just guard Shadow, who was basically dormant that whole time. So, I guess that's why he doesn't like Eggman, and that's why he wants to destroy Eggman. I'll take it from here. And I think if I'm correct, like, I think I read, uh, I think I read somewhere that Team Sonic wanted to, Team Sonic wanted to use Gamma as a power, they wanted to use Gamma as a power, like the power character for Team Dark in this game, but seeing as how Gamma died and whatnot, it wouldn't make sense. So that's why they created Omega, who, you know, he's an XC robot just like Omega, or just like Gamma. And honestly, you know, I know everyone loves Gamma because he has like a very compelling character arc, but I actually prefer Omega, I just think he's a better robot, but that's just me. Alright, so let's go. Let me see the cat. Our team blast right here. So now that we got that out of the way, I guess I could go into Team Dark's team blast. So their team blast is is unique in the way that uh, the secondary effects of team blast. It basically freezes time. That's why I died the first time. That's why I died the first time I used it, because you see that Shadow does Chaos Control, which which essentially allows him to stop time, and that's what happens, after you use it, like you see the little bar go, the time is basically frozen until that bar is gone, or depleted. And yeah, like it, it's a good effect. I mean, it, it's a okay effect, I guess. Like it's good because it freezes enemies in place, so it gives you yeah, it freezes enemies in place. So you know, you just it allows you to it gives you some like breathing room if you're in a tough spot and. It lets you. It lets gives you time to attack enemies while they're stationary. But the only downside is it does freeze everything. So you know when you have things, when you have like gimmicks and like stage gimmicks and stuff like that that rely on like. That move with time and whatnot, like the ruins, it can screw you over if you're not a, if you're not careful. I think like switches don't activate until the time is over, doors don't open, so it can be a little annoying just kind of having to wait for things to happen. But other other than that, it's a good uh, it's a good move. I'd say for that reason, you should really you really need to time. It's use. Level. You really need to time the use of Team Dark's Team Blast. Alright, so we're doing this, and you know the drill, just want to get some. Really only doing it just to get some lives. I'll take it from here. Thank you. 
so far so good. Alright, here we got the child room. Not a lot of boost. Oh no. Still good. Oh my god, I almost hit that. Last and through this place. Oh, uh, I missed all that. Oh well. Hmm. All right, so got four lives. And honestly, with Team Dark, I want to try to get as much lives as I can because, like I said, this is supposed to be like the hard mode. So. I should, I feel like I should expect a lot of death deaths. <laughs> Ancient civilization established on the sea. This place is really beautiful. Primary target is Eggman. Don't forget it. So you may notice too that Rouge's look Rouge's look in this game looks so different compared to Sonic Adventure 2. And there, I think, I remember reading one time that there was a good reason, or that the reason why Sega did that was that I guess when they created Rouge, like, they felt like her design was like a little too sexy, so they tried changing her look in this game to make it look a little less, like, lewd. But it kind of backfired on them because if anything, it looks like Rouge looks like more sexy in uh, in this game than compared to Adventure. And I feel like I can I can attest to that because I actually prefer Rouge's look in this game compared to her, her like look in Adventure 2. And it's for that reason that. This is like the only game where Rouge has this look. Every other game after that where Rouge makes an appearance, she has she retains the adventure or yeah, the adventure to look. But yeah, I just I prefer Rouge's look in this game. It just like I just like it. It kind of suits her character a little better, I guess you can say. Damn, yeah, well, has got flank, flank throws. That's actually really cool. I just go through this way because I realize I never go through this way. Or I never went through this way with the other character. I like how I like how Omega says that it's kind of like a burn to the other robots saying that they're just worthless consumer models compared to him who's a more superior model. I always like that like detail. Oh man, I missed it. So you may start so you may have noticed that Team Dark and Team Sonic share a lot of uh they share a lot of similarities. Well, you know, with Shadow being able to light dash and do the triangle jump and doing uh his own variation of the of Sonic's blue tornado, the black tornado. And then what else do we got? Uh, what else we got? Yeah, and then the T 
Team Dark's like floating, floating move, floating move is uh, it's, they do the triangle dive just like Team Sonic, and then their jump attack is same <coughs> as Knuckles with the, what was it, like the fireball shoot or like the fire dunk, something like that, I don't even know what it's called. Well, as a Team Rose, you know, Big had, Big had his umbrella to float. Hey, uh, Amy did have a tornado, but like a tornado move as well. But it was like, at least the animation was different. The the look and animation of it is different from like Sonic. Oh man, I just got hit. And then what else we got? Oh man! Good thing I'm not going for chaos on this right now. And what else we got? Yeah, like Team Rose can do. What the? Team Rose couldn't do, was it, triangle jump either, and then Big if he didn't have, like, the other characters primed on him, he would just do like a belly, like a, like a body slam, which both Knuckles and Omega don't do, as you can see. So, yeah, there are a lot of similarities between Team Dark and Team Sonic. Let's do a triangle dive here. Is there anything here? Nope. Oh my god. I like how Mega with his final level, he shoots, he straight up shoots missiles. You know, let's try to, why not, get some extra lives I guess. I'll take it from here! I'll take it from here! Affirmative. Annihilate. Alright, let's go this way. Good. Good thing I'll switch to power. Fire! Make it ready. Annihilation. Worthless consumer models. Danger. What the hell? Good. Right. Chaos control. Another one. Step aside. I'll take it from here. Oh yeah, so I think this is where we start getting chased. Yep. Just like with Team Sonic. Oh man, the... I shouldn't have light dash. That's what really screwed me up. What? What was that? Oh man, so much for getting A ranks in the easiest levels with Team Dark. That's hard, you can't even tell where those balloons yeah. are gonna be. Alright, so let's just finish up. Hmm. There we go.
Sucks that I died right at the very end, but uh, not much I can do about that. I'm ashamed to call myself a treasure hunter. Yeah, I don't like that I got an E. It's kind of disappointing. who are playing games with my army. Primary target detected. Destroy Dr. Eggman. You must own me. Hm. Is that any way to treat your creator? Now witness your master's real power. I think that's kind of weird. Eggman doesn't recognize his own robot. Oh, okay, so I guess we're not stopping here. Oh my god, I'm trying not to take damage. Damn it. Fire, fire. Oh, it's just a team blast. Oh, yeah, so you're going to see right now how this team blast comes in clutch. Yep, you see, I could just straight up. Oh, uh, well, I wish Shadow would get up. I could just basically spam attack this thing while it's stationary. Oh, nice. I'll take it from here. I'll take it from here. Whoa! Whoa! You've got no chance of beating me. Time to give up, old man. There we go. This isn't the end. <laughs> All right. Obviously, the doctor's robots are useless.